G'day guys, we're back on Dying Light with less than a month until Dying Light 2's release, and I've got another glitch for you guys. This method is a variation of one popularized by Metro, a link to their original video down below. Note that this does work on PC and console. I will show both variations in this video, so feel free to skip to the part that suits your needs. Before we get into that, I do want to plug the Discord. Discord.gg slash Tigertown just got to 10,000 members. Come and say hello and discuss this upcoming launch with the community. If this glitch helps you out leave a like or drop a sub much appreciated this glitch is a lot easier than the previous videos I've uploaded on my channel and is really good for weapons or single items. If you're looking to duplicate stacks of items in the millions, this won't work as well. I recommend using this guide on my channel, which still works to this day. The first version I'll start with is a little quicker, but might be harder to pull off on console. You want to start off by coming to any hideout and standing in front of the stash. Ensure the items you want to dupe are in your inventory and you'll want to try and join an online game. After some time, you'll get this warning message. This is where you'll want to prepare to turn off your PC or console's connection to the internet. On PC, you can simply alt tab and switch off the connection. You might be able to do it quickly on the Switch, but PS4 and Xbox might struggle a little bit unless they unplug their ethernet or something at the right time. So once you're ready, hit yes and turn off that connection before the game has a chance to load you in. You'll get an error message if done correctly and once you press OK, you'll arrive on this message. Click OK again and then immediately open your stash. When the game loads you back into single player, your menu will be stuck open like this. Now you can infinitely drop all of these items in your inventory. If you're not on PC, be careful of crashing your game by dropping too much. And if it crashes when you move around the menu, try and use your D-pad instead of the thumbstick. PC should not have any of these issues. Maybe if you're running on a smaller, less powerful PC or a laptop, you might counter crashes so just be careful. Now a much easier way to do this on console is to fully join another player's lobby. Once you are in the lobby, hover over your stash and turn off your Wi-Fi. This one does not need to be so quick, so you can take the time to go into your console settings and turn it off completely. Once complete, you'll be greeted by the same two menus. Repeat the same steps as before and open the stash before it loads you into single player. Here you can see it does work and I'm able to dupe every item in my inventory by dropping them on the floor. I need to point out that when I try and dupe these stacks in the hundreds of thousands, they will often only drop a stack of 99, so you'll have to stick to the old dupe method for those items. That is all I've got for you guys today, I hope you're as excited for Dying Light 2 as I am. I promise that I'll be posting guides galore when that game releases, so sub now to receive those notifications for those videos. Thanks for watching, take care and drink some water. Peace.